hi family welcome back to another video and in this one we're gonna continue um, developing or we're gonna start developing the invoice management system all right so this is the website where you need to go to to find all the codes for this video series okay you gotta go to appcoms.com and if you scroll down you have different type of projects and this is the project that we're gonna start developing that is the invoice management system okay I'm gonna open that okay so this is the first video for this video series the invoice management system system overview okay so this is gonna be part two of that video or that video series now I'm gonna open part two and that is about um, setting up the system environment okay so setting up environment for the invoice management system right, we have few steps to do okay most of these steps is already done on my machine that is installing the Python 3 okay so if you want to do that let's say if your machine is not having Python 3 you gotta do sudo app install Python 3 then the next step will be to uh, install pip for Python 3 okay and you're gonna do that by doing or by typing this command sudo app install Python 3 dash pip so that's gonna install pip version 3 or pip for Python 3 all right so once you're done with that you're gonna use that pip 3 to install the virtual environment which is already already done on my machine so I'm gonna move to step number four all right so step number four is creating the environment okay so uh, in my previous videos I talked about what the environment is for so this is used to separate your applications environments okay let's say you have different um, application requirements let's say you have different different applications and each will have its own re requirements so you're gonna put them in their own environments that's gonna be like like kind of a sandbox or uh, yeah sound kind of an, a sandbox okay so that's what we're gonna do in step number four okay so we're gonna use a virtual environment to do that and I'm gonna create a virtual environment and name it as venv -E this can be any name but usually I name my environments as venv -E okay that is in short for a virtual env or a virtual environment all right so I'm gonna issue this command on my terminal I'm gonna open terminal so okay before I issue this command I always like to organize my codes okay so I'm gonna go to uh, where I run all these applications or where I develop all these applications and I created a folder called Django apps I'm gonna cd into that folder okay so if I do ls you can see all these applications is what I'm currently doing or what I have at least built using this machine all right so I'm gonna create a folder right in here I've already created a folder I think uh, that is the invoice MGMT okay yeah that one right there okay so I'm gonna um, remove both these folders I'm gonna RM that's R this is not part of the application uh, the, the the codes that we're gonna do for this video I'm just removing these uh, two folders so that I can start it fresh okay right so now uh, to continue with the coding I'm gonna create a folder okay so to create a folder I'm gonna do mkdir and the folder name so this is the folder that I'm gonna put the codes the entire codes of this application so if I do ls you can see that co uh, that folder is right here okay so I'm gonna cd into that folder and this is where I'm gonna create the environment okay so I'm gonna paste this code that I just copied the virtual env that's p python 3 v env oh I have to copy it again and paste it right here okay I still have this error okay some time back I have an error with my virtual environment okay I need to figure out what this is about and fix it but um, there is another way of creating a, a, a virtual environment which I'm gonna use in this case until if I'm able to figure out this error so that command this command that I'm gonna use is almost the same as this so you can use any one of them okay so I'm gonna use the Python 3 way of doing a virtual environment okay so I'm gonna type Python 3 that's M so I'm gonna use venv and then the name of the environment okay that is venv so this is the command 
okay and this is the name of the environment that i want to create okay v and v i'm gonna press enter right so if i do ls you can see that folder right there okay so i'm gonna go into that folder by typing cd then the name of the folder and i'm gonna activate it okay so right like i said this command is just the same as this okay this is gonna use the a, a, a program or a, a, a yeah a program call or a package called virtual env to create your virtual environment or you can use the python 3 way of doing it okay now i'm gonna move to the next step uh, uh which is cd and then we're gonna do source bin activate to activate the environment all right so we've already done the cd venv so i'm gonna do source bin activate and the reason why i need to activate this environment is so i want to isolate all these commands that i'm going to type into this terminal okay so if i activate the environment that is shown right here with this bracket shows that the environment is activated so whatever pip command and i call pip command i type okay will be uh, um, isolated within this environment okay it will not affect my main operating system so now uh, i'm going to install django in this environment so i'm going to do pip3 install Django alright so this is gonna find the Django uh, the latest Django version and install it in this environment okay so right here you can see it is installing Django 3.16 alright so I'm gonna do pip freeze or pip3 freeze okay so we have uh django 3.16 installed right here all right so this is how to do your django installation okay so we've created the environment oh right here we've uh installed the python 3 that is if your machine doesn't have python 3 yet then we uh installed uh pip for python 3 okay and then we use that pip for python 3 to create uh, a virtual environment okay so sorry to install virtual env okay there is another way of doing this that is the python way of doing it okay that's what i, I used okay that is right here using uh python to create the virtual env okay so if you're gonna use that method you don't necessarily have to install uh virtual env right here okay so you can just go and do sudo add install um python 3 venv okay and that will be able to give you that option to type the command that i used to install or to create the venv all right so if that is a little bit confusing just stick to this and then you should be fine all right unless if you have an error like i have and you can use the python 3 uh method to create the venv all right so we also activated the and the environment okay and then install django in that environment and we confirm that Django is indeed installed so that we can proceed to the next level. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to click on that thumbs up and leave your comments if you have any question or anything to ask about this video in the comments box below and see you in the next video.